Good morning, guys. So I see a lot of, um, you know, funny enough, this is how people were all over the place telling Thomas Tuchel who what he should have done and what he should not have done. In 2012, when Chelsea beat FC Barcelona, um, score coming from 2-0, one man down at the Camp Nou against um, Barcelona, um, playing 2-2. Gary Neville, when Fernando Torres put that second goal in the net, Gary Neville said something. He said it's written in the stars. There are seasons where you just watch, and to be quite honest, um, take nothing away from Liverpool, but I don't think anybody will be surprised if Madrid walk away with the Champions League um, title easily. you will be shocked to see Liverpool do all of the playing and all of the running around but Madrid just end up winning the game. It's, it's very, very possible. There are seasons where you see things like this and you say, man, all of the elements are working to make this thing, this title go to this club. You know, look at it. The, by no means should Chelsea be winning that Champions League final against Bayern Munich. By no means. It's, a, it's injustice against football. Yeah, but they walked out with a, with a trophy at Bayern Munich's um, um, home. You know, that's the game of football. That's the elements we are talking about. Now, if you go to the game yesterday, what did Pep do that he shouldn't have done? Nothing, as far as I'm concerned. In the dying embers of that game, Pep did what prime Jose Mourinho usually will do. Back then, with the game at 1-0, Jose Mourinho will introduce a John Mikel OB. What was Mikel's job? to slow down the tempo of the game and keep um, drawing fouls. Continue to draw fouls, frustrate the opponent, and then the game will peter out to not to um, City's, um, to Chelsea's favor. Yesterday, when I saw Jack Grealish warming up, I put out a tweet and I said, Pep is doing something from Jose Moreno's playbook, and that is introducing Jack Grealish to play the Mikel role for Man City. Grealish's job yesterday was to, I mean, the game was becoming end to end. Grealish is probably one of the best time wasters in the game. Yeah. If for once be useful to yourself and this club, they paid 100 billion for you. Hold this ball, try to. Um, beat people if possible, draw fouls, and frustrate man, uh, the Madrid back line. You know, and to be very honest, Manchester City were one man the goal line clearance away from getting into the final. That could have been 2-0. That could have been Jack Grealish wrapping up the game. It's similar to what we as Chelsea fans said about Christian Pulisic, who missed two very big chances at the same stadium at a death against Real Madrid. Yeah, but then go back to yesterday's game. Immediately, Mendy made that clearance. It was almost from that clearance. You know, in football, if you have played football, there is this kind of energy that comes from a goal line clearance or a last gap penalty kick save from your goalkeeper. It's like you get this extra spring in your step. Just almost immediately from that clearance, um, Madrid went to the other side and scored a goal. And let's give credit to the team who have refused to die and simply say they did an awesome job. Um, it's looking more like the spirit of 2012 for Chelsea. That never say die spirit is what we're seeing in Real Madrid. To be very honest, they don't look that exceptional. Yeah, but then they have a, a certain character working for them. They just don't know where they're beaten. Yeah, so I don't think this is down to Pep. I think Pep did his job well yesterday. He was down to Real Madrid, nicking it, taking their chances when they had it. It's that simple. Let's not, let's not um, make life difficult yeah, for ourselves, like saying, hey, this is what Pep should have done. This. What did he not do? The man brought in Fernandino. Yes, he brought in Jack Grealish. So I don't understand what people mean by pep subs here. I'm confused, honestly. You are listening to Elegbete TV Radio.